Audi. In this video tutorial we're going to talk about roofs and ceilings. So I haven't finished my um, internal walls and doors, windows and whatnot. Um, you'll need to because it just gets a lot harder um, when we put our roof in. Um, so I'd advise you to do that. What I did do since our last video is I did have put these columns in just so I can get this um, ceiling and roof all happening. So probably the first thing to do is, you know, what type of roofs are there? So there's the simple, simple gable roof um, where you know it's a straight V and then we get to the hip roof which is a little bit better in terms of like a rain profile. The Dutch is um, you know maybe a higher top with a potentially different materials there's cladding in here um, but really we're probably we're going to be looking at um, a hip gable roof which is actually a bit of a combination and it's, it's a complex shape so these roofs are all for um, you know rectangular and basic types of elements um, and you know RKK can do that but can do a whole lot better uh, very easily. So what we need to do is go to our first floor because if we're drawing on a ground floor that's what we see. So we go to our first floor and um, you can see a couple of little bits but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to right click on ground floor and uh, I want to click on show as trace reference. So now I can see the whole all, all of the work that I've done thus far. Okay, and that makes it really easy to work. So there's this roof tool. I don't even need to press anything fancy. Um, select it up the top. Just make sure it's a um, complex roof, and um, it'll kind of snap to each point as I draw along. Okay, so I'm just going to start up on that that um, outdoor area. Again, you want to get your lines nice and straight. Use the shift button as you need to. Uh, this is the tricky bit. Oh dear. So I might have to adjust that. That's all right, and that one too. Again, hopefully you're going to, going to be more accurate than mine. And for minimal effort, we get a lot of reward. So uh, it says it's on the home story, which is great, and it's at 23 degrees, the pitch. So awesome! I've already got a roof. That's um, really cool, straight up. Um, just for you know, this is mostly a um, visual project so I'd probably be bringing it down just to 15 degrees just so it's a little bit uh, more streamlined but we've got this beautiful hip gable um, Archicad does a great job of presenting each of these flow lines really well there's no way that water would get trapped if that was a real building okay so let's get, do a little first person walk so I remember press that little man and just when I go inside I can see that I've got this huge ceiling so normally you know you wouldn't see that um, if you have all of your rooms, but right now, you know, you might use that for your design. Um, but probably what we want to do is add a ceiling. Okay, so what we do is we go back to our first floor uh, and we click on the slab. And if we press this little to the side button, um, what do we want to do? If possible, uh, there we go. So it's on floors, we can go to ceilings uh, and we might just do a plasterboard ceiling. Okay, um, same thing, polygonal construction, and we want to make sure that we're we're seeing um, the inside. Uh, so we actually go out to the edge and this will give us eaves. Eaves, when you look at a house, uh, are really essential because, I'm just gonna leave this wonky line here. Um, essentially the eaves will mean that when it rains, it's gonna be much harder for the rain to get into your house because there's an offset um, off against the, um, the wall. If you don't have eaves, whenever it rains, the water will very quickly go into an open window. Okay, so that was on the first floor, so hopefully that's all good. So let's go back to our 3D. Whoops, it's in the wrong spot. So I might just change the floor. So we can say it's 10 millimeters thick and it's 2,700 off the, um, the story. So if I just select the home story and click from first, I'll just change it to ground. And voila, that's um, pretty well handled. Looks like it might be a little bit lacking. See if I make this pitch back over. Okay, and I might just need to move these numbers a little bit. Uh, 100 down might might fix it. Cool. So I've just brought that roof level down. Uh, not positive why I needed to do that. Eaves overhanging, um, but that's okay. Um, with the eaves overhanging, we can modify that if we need to. So now, um, you know, we go for a quick walk, and hopefully, when we go into our house, we'll see. Great, a wall type, um, sorry, a ceiling type, which is good. We can't just see the open ceiling, which is what you know a lot of houses are. 
Um, keep in mind this is a kit house design. Uh, probably the last thing we could do is um, we could press Control T and we could um, add some materials to override what our roof might look like. So it's Control T and then essentially you can modify all three of these. Um, often it's wise to link them up so they all have the same property. But let's just have a quick play around. Um, what do we want to look at? Uh, let's just look at what have I got? Oh, bricks not going to be appropriate. Looks like they're missing some materials in this version. Uh, here we go, roof tiles. And we've already got a red brick, so let's go with French red. See how that looks like. Okay, cool. Not beautiful, but it looks like a house you'd see in the suburbs. Okay, in the next video tutorial, I'll show you how to bring in objects so we can start to furbish our house um, and we'll leave our landscape till the very end. Thank you.